Why hello lovely humans, Jen Fox Fox here. Welcome to another edition of Math Mondays. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! Alright, thanks very much for joining me today. We are going to tackle the question of how much electrical energy do we consume? Oh my gosh. Well, really, we're going to focus on how do we calculate the amount of electrical energy that we consume? What is the formula and the procedure to figure that out? Cool. So, um, to do that, we're going to look at two specific examples, a hairdryer and a laptop. So a hairdryer consumes about 1500 watts of electrical energy. And a watt is a unit of power, which is energy over time. So basically, how much energy is this device consuming over time? On uh, the laptop side of things, it consumes way less wattage, about 100 watts. Um, but here's the catch. Our laptop is on for a much longer period of time. So if I were to estimate, I would say I use my laptop between 10 and 12 hours a day. So we'll go with the higher limit of 12. Whereas a hairdryer, if uh, I or my housemate were to use a hairdryer in a given day, it would be uh, way less than an hour. Um, a generous estimate would be about a quarter of an hour. So the total energy consumption is the power used by the device times the number of hours per day that it is being used. And so in this case, our hairdryer is using about 375 watt hours per day. Whereas our laptop is actually using way more because it's on for a much longer period of time. And so the total energy use of our laptop is about 12,000 watt hours per day. To figure out how much energy your household is consuming, what you would do is you would go room by room and write down all of the devices that are using electrical energy in that room. So if you're in the kitchen, you'd say, okay, the fridge, the microwave, the toaster, the uh, coffee maker, the oven, etc., etc. And you would put it in a table just like this. You uh, can find the wattage of the device either by looking at the plug. Um, there's usually a tag on the plug that tells you how much power that device consumes, or you can look it up on your favorite search engine. And then you estimate the number of hours that that device is being used. Uh, for example, your refrigerator is probably plugged in for 24 hours a day. Um, although, quick note that refrigerators cycle, so the rule of thumb um, is to divide the 24 hours by 3 uh, to get the total number of hours that the refrigerator is on because it cycles. Um, and then you multiply the power consumption by the number of hours that it's on to get the total energy use. You do that for every device in your household, including every light bulb. Oh, fun. And then you add all of those up to get your total energy consumption uh, per day. If you want to figure it out per month or per year, you just multiply the number of uh, by the number of days in a month. Although personally, I like to use 30.5 because I don't know, you know, I'm like, do I want to do an average month? 30.5 works. Um, or you can just multiply it by 365. We'll ignore leap years for now. And that will give you the average energy consumption uh, per year of your household. This is super, super useful if you want to figure out um, how you could uh, supplement uh, your energy consumption with a solar array and basically uh, help save you some money. But uh, I don't want to bore you with the details of running through the dozens and dozens of devices in a household, so let's just look at some average numbers. So in the US in 2016, the average energy consumption per person per year was about 12,000, uh, let's double check my notes, 71 kilowatt hours. And again, that is per person and per year. So on average, each American citizen consumes 12,071 uh, kilowatt hours per year. Another way to uh, say per person is per capita. Um, and a quick note that 12, uh, that kilo is actually times 10 to the three. So this would be 12 million 71,000 watt hours. And again, per person per year. So that's actually a lot of energy. How much is it in relation to other countries? Well, 
China, which is uh, the, uh, it consumes the most electrical energy of any country, um, actually consumes less per person. So it's about 4,475 kilowatt hours per person per year. So that's really interesting because that means that uh, the average citizen in the United States consumes um, about uh, three times as much as the average person in China. And in India, the average per capita electrical energy consumption is about 1,122 kilowatt hours per person per year. I'm gonna write that shorthand because I'm saying it out loud. And so even though the US has much fewer people, uh, the US comprises about 5% of the total world's population, it is responsible for about 23% of the total energy consumption throughout the world. And so it's really important for us to recognize that and for us as individuals to acknowledge our power and our privilege, <laughs> sorry, terrible pun, um, our electrical power and our internal power um, and try and make our energy consumption less because by doing so, we can uh, contribute less to climate change and we can also make sure that there is space for other countries to grow. And I think that it is really important because it's the ethical and moral, uh, morally right thing for us to do. Um, cool. So please let me know if you have any questions about how to calculate the total energy consumption of a particular device or of your home. Um, or if you have any questions about per capita energy use of different countries, I will provide links to the uh, resources that I use to compile this data and uh, as well as a table that shows and compares the different countries around the world. Cool, so the next big question is, okay, well, how do we actually reduce our energy consumption? So check out the video that I made on that, which I will link to in the video description and in the end credits. Cool, and of course, please let me know if you have any other math questions and we will tackle them together. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.